1987, uh, I was involved in a shooting and uh, where I got shot in the chest on the job. I was hired to be a police officer and the doctor said I was in excellent shape. He said the one reason I survived and recovered so fast because I was in amazing shape. I had promised myself that I would never uh, get fat and I tried to maintain that and I'm 71 now. But not, it's not only that, it's the friendships that I have developed over the years, the people that I see. I see the same people just about every day and you know we just have a good time uh, busting each other and talking and talking about our families and what's going on in our lives and everything. So that's what keeps me coming down here and you know I think anything that you enjoy doing you will continue to do it and uh, I don't think if I wasn't a member of the Y, I wouldn't be in as great a shape that I am today and for the YMCA. Growing up at the YMCA, it's less what it's helped me to achieve, but the tool sets in order to achieve anything. It's taught me a strong moral compass, what the right thing to do, and it's given me self-esteem and many other invaluable assets that can really make anything that I want to achievable. It was important for me to give back to the Y because I felt indebted to the YMCA. Growing up, I was bullied, and the summers here and camp here was a safe haven for me. And I felt that I should come here and reciprocate those same experiences that I had as a child for other people so they could have the same safe haven that the YMCA provides us. Volunteering in the tutoring program has taught me that no kid is beyond help. There were plenty of kids who were on the brink of failing a class, but they would come here every week, they would work hard, and eventually they were able to succeed. And I think that's been one of the most important lessons, that nobody is beyond help, and the YMCA provides a hand to the people who need it the most. Why well, helped me achieve my goals in life and through school. I got my 4.0 average, and I'm very, very proud of myself because I'm an abused woman. I lived in a bad woman's shelter, but when I lived in the shelter, I had no means of exercise, so just, you know, just living in the shelter with a bunch of other abused women. And um, I wanted so much inside myself to really change my, my self-esteem and my mental well-being for myself and for my children. I can remember struggles were like, oh my gosh, you know what, I don't have any food sometimes. Or I, I don't have enough money to pay my bills. But I remember the day when I, when I came in to apply for financial assistance, yes, and I remember talking with the woman. And I explained to her what was going on. She said, bring in your documents and your paperwork. I said, okay. When she hugged me that day, something clicked inside my heart. I said, you know what? This place is not just people standing around here and, and scanning out your ID stuff, but there's warmth and compassion here, something that I have never felt in my life in a long time. Thank you guys so much for changing my life and for bringing me up to another level in my life that I that I can actually say I, I love myself and I, and I care about myself for the first time in 53 years. Thank you guys so much.